Hi, this is John with Brockworks. With this is a follow-up tutorial on the foundation assembly that we created with using Profile Builder 2's assembly uh, option. And uh, so this is the foundation wall that we created. And uh, right now we don't have any dollar amounts assigned to that. So of course I want to know as a builder, I want to know how much this foundation is costing me. Okay, so um, let's look at what's involved in this foundation. Okay, I'm going to edit this group that's created in here just so we can start looking at these things one by one. Okay, I've got a footing down here that's got rebar in it. So my footings, let's go to quantifier, which is this icon right here. When I chose quantifier, and right now there's no dollar amount associated with that. So let's go to layers, and we're going to choose the uh, footing found that we see. Footings. It's a 10 by 20 footing. And these footings cost me around $13 per lineal foot, and that's installed material labor. So I'm going to try uh, to add $13 per foot for footings. The rebar that's inside those footings, I'm going to do, I've got two runs of number four rebar. So each of those runs, if I go to rebar, I'm going to do that on a per foot basis. And rebar is about, uh, about 40 cents. So we're going to put 40 cents per lineal foot. Okay. I've got this drain tile that's running around the perimeter. So I'm going to add my cost for the drain tile. And that's about $60 for about a 100 foot roll. So let's just say it's 60 cents on the lineal footage basis for per foot. Okay, then we have um, the gravel that goes around this drain tile. So let's choose the drain tile gravel. And in this case, I'm going to go by a cubic foot. Um, let's see if I can do cubic yards, actually. Yes, cubic yards. And that stone is roughly about $30 per cubic yard. So let's assign that. All right, the waterproofing that we've got going around the foundation. If I was to choose that layer, which is choosing the waterproofing. Okay, waterproofing, in my case, it's the system that I use has uh, a foam insulation board that's put over top of the waterproofing and I pay by the square foot. So I pay $1.70 per square foot for waterproofing. My foundation wall itself, if we go back here to layer dollars, the foundation walls run about $56 per foot. That's material and labor. All right, and then I have a sill plate up in here. Let's click on that. That is on two by six PT sill. So we're going to go to layer and let's go to two by six PT. And let's just say that that's about, uh, let's say it's about 10 bucks for a 16 footer. So let's say that's 63 cents per foot. Okay, click OK. Then lastly, we have these uh, foundation anchor bolts, and I've assigned $1.50 per each anchor bolt. All right, and then hit the little checkbox, and that locks in that price. And then, of course, in this assembly, remember it started one within one foot of the end and every six feet thereafter, maximum spacing, and that's per code. All right, so we've assigned everything in our cost in here, except for this expansion joint material. We'll just leave that out for now. All right, so now let's delete, let's delete this wall that we just did. Actually, we had a price to it, but I want to show you as we draw a new one. Okay, let's go to our assembler. And in this case, we're going to go to our foundations library. This is a library I created for myself. So we got our 10 by 9 foundation. And we'll start drawing foundation wall. Let's start it right in here. And you can see it's starting to build these items. And we'll just do a little ways around. Just snapping to endpoints of our foundation. Okay, let's just say that the wall ended right there. Now, when I click on this group that we just created in this wall, I'm going to close the assembler. Now, that wall right there cost me almost $5,000 in material and labor. So, not only do I have a really cool looking model, a 3D model of what I'm going to build, I know how much it's going to cost. So, thanks for watching.